Today in our 2013 Nissan Quest, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Concha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118547. This is what our wiring looks like when it's installed. It's going to give you all the proper lighting functions for your trailer, your running lights, your brake lights, both turn signals, and your ground. So it's going to be a custom fit vehicle wiring, so it's going to plug directly into your factory wiring coming off the back of your tail lights. It's also gonna come with an attached dust cap. This is gonna help keep any of your connection points from getting corroded. Your dust cap can also second as a holder when, not, when your wiring's not being used. This will help keep your wiring from dragging the ground and getting damaged. Now, if you're wanting a more permanent mounting location, on our website, if you look up part number 18140 and part number 18144, it's gonna give you two mounting brackets and they're gonna mount directly onto the hitch which you're gonna hold your four pole in place right there. First thing we need to do to start our installation is we need to get in the back of the vehicle, we need to remove our floor covers. We're just gonna fold these up. Next, we need to remove our threshold. And you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. Phillips said plastic screws that hold this in place. We'll just take a trim panel tool pop the ones out that we can't get out by hand. Next, you're gonna have a little cap right here in the center. We need to pop that out. And we're just gonna pull up on our threshold to pull it out. Next, you're gonna have two tie downs. Right on the inside here, there's a little tab. What it's gonna do is it's gonna push that center out. Just take a little small flathead screwdriver Work it out like this, and you'll be able to pop it out. We're gonna pull out our panel. You're gonna have some plastic clips. If they're hard to get out, don't pry them out too hard because you will break them. You use a trim panel tool, you can pop them out pretty easy. So when we pull back our panel, we're gonna be looking for this single plug. Once you locate that, then you can remove your tail lights. Take a 10 millimeter socket, remove these two bolts. And what you're gonna do, is you're gonna start pushing back toward the back of the vehicle on the light. On your plug, push down this tab here Push down that tab and separate them. We're gonna set this aside and remove the tail light on the passenger side. Now what we're gonna do is to give us a little extra room, we're gonna pull this little plastic grommet out here. And if you look right down inside, there's a rubber grommet right there. We're gonna need to pop that out. You can use a screwdriver or a trim panel tool, whichever one you want. Now you can take an airline tube, or if you don't have any airline tube at your house, if you take a bolt and a piece of string, you're gonna drop it down the back of the bumper or inside of the bumper fascia. So it comes out the bottom. And you take your wiring, attach it to the nut, and then pull it back up behind the fascia. Then you can remove your plumb bob. And you're gonna want this black wire with the single connection, your ground wire, and this gray plug. We're gonna go in through the grommet that we just removed. Then from the inside, pull those through. Next, we wanna find a place to mount our black box. You wanna make sure that it's flat and it's clean. So what we're gonna do is once you find your spot, which right here against this panel on the back side, I think is gonna be a pretty good spot. I'm gonna make sure you take some alcohol and paper towel and wipe it down, make sure it's good and clean. Now we'll remove this paper. Make sure you press it into place. Then you're gonna take your gray plug on the back of your wiring harness, and you can plug it into the black box. I'm gonna push it in until it clicks. Then we're gonna take our black wire with our single plug, and we're gonna plug it into the single plug 
on the inside of the vehicle that we located. Again, push it in so you hear it click. Next, we're gonna mount our ground wire. Now you can take a self-tapping screw, and as long as you're in metal and this area is clean, that would work good. But if you can find an existing bolt that's in the body of the vehicle, it'd be a good place. If you look right here, there's a black bolt that we're gonna remove, and that's where I'm gonna put my ground wire. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket. Put the ring terminal on the, the bolt. Reinstall your bolt. Just make sure you don't tighten it down so tight that you break your ring terminal off from the wire. Now we can put this panel back in place. Place these. Push them in, locks them into place. Now our grommet, we're gonna wanna cut a little slice in it so we can put it back into place. Once you've got your wire through your grommet, go ahead and put your grommet back in place. And then we'll take a little bit of silicone and we'll fill that gap. Now we'll take our yellow, brown, red, and white wire. We're gonna connect it to the plug we took off of our tail light. We're just gonna match them together. Push it until it clicks, and we can reinstall our tail light. You know, make sure you put this back into place. And go ahead and install our screws. Now, before I get under my vehicle, go ahead and take my plumb bob. I'm going to drop down on my passenger side behind my bumper. It's tied up there somewhere we'll hold in place. Now we can run our green wire over to our passenger side up to this light. Now we'll route our four pole, our green wire together. I'm gonna go over top of the hitch right here. Now my four pole is just gonna stay right here. My green wire, I'm gonna take up, there's an actual an, a bracket that is holding the bumper fascia on. I'm gonna go behind that and you're gonna have another one over on the other side that'll hold my wire in place. Again, I'm gonna go over top of my hitch on the side. And I'll take my green wire, put it into my plumb bob. And that'll hold it in place until I pull it up top. I'm gonna take a zip tie, go around this bracket where the wires are. Just uh, keep them in place there. Cut off our excess. Clean it up. Do the same thing over here. And when you pull your green wire up, you want to make sure that it's not wrapped around your exhaust pipe down here. Now, because I have so much extra green wire, I'm going to take a zip tie and zip tie it to this existing wiring right here and make sure it doesn't fall out the bottom or sit on top of my exhaust down there. Again, we're gonna match our plugs, push them in until you hear them click. And then we'll plug that one in to the back of our tail light. Take this extra here, do the same thing. Take a zip tie. Once you get that all bundled up, you can reinstall your tail light. Now we can put our threshold back in place and then reinstall your hardware that's holding it in place. Cap. Now we'll come to the front of the vehicle. On the driver's side, you'll have your fuse panel. You need to remove it. And if you turn it over, what we're looking for is the 20 amp that has trailer on it. So if you lay it face down like this or face up, the same direction your, your fuses are sitting. We're gonna be looking right here on this side. And if you look right at that one, that one has the metal connection points in it. Once we've located our spot, now your kit comes with a large fuse. As you can see here, a large fuse is not gonna fit in there, so you may have to pick up a micro fuse. Put that into place. Now that we got that in place, we're going to reinstall our cover, test everything out. Next, we'll test out our wiring using part number I26. Left blinker, right blinker, brake lights, 
running lights. And then I'll do it for a look at the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118547 on our 2013 Nissan Quest.